welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my skincare routine, skin, skin, skin. I'm going to be talking about my skincare routine, the things I use on my skin, how I clean my skin, why my skin looks like it does, and how long it took for my skin to transform into what it was. Yeah, I don't really know how to start this, but I just want to go off by saying like my skin hasn't been clear like ever in my whole entire life maybe when i was like first born but probably not even that like my skin has never been what i would call clear so throughout this video i'm going to show you guys like pictures of how my skin looked so the first picture is my worst breakout in my whole entire life i don't even understand how i left the house looking like this like i was genuinely so like i don't know i just i I guess I was, I don't know, I wasn't doing well. I wasn't very confident, even though I was still taking pictures of myself. <laughs> I wasn't confident in my skin. I can tell that. Like, I can see. Like, I definitely wasn't confident. This was not a good look for me. I just want to show you guys because that, like, this picture here is what I first looked like. And then last month, this this picture, this picture I'm put up right now is what my skin looked like. It's like a total transformation. I just wanted to share with you guys what I did, how I did it, and... Yeah, let's get started. All right, the lighting's probably gonna be a little wonky like all throughout this video because I'm testing like different lightings. Um, but I think I'm cool with up here, so it might stay like this for the rest of the video. In my notes, I wrote a couple things down about like what I wanted to talk about because if y'all been watching me for a while, you know I'll talk about something and then I'll just go on a rant or I'll start rambling about things that don't make any sense. So I wrote stuff down so I don't do that because like we're only here for a skincare video and I'll probably end up talking about like dogs or something so yeah. Alright so I am, I already showed you guys the before picture but this before picture was taken in maybe like Mar May of last year. That's when my skin was the absolute worst. Like all the time my face was hurting. I had like the pimples were so big to the point where like like it hurt like it just hurt being there we're taken in june i did like a little face profile like front <laughs> side you know down upward angles because like i wanted to see like this is when i was really getting serious in my skincare i was like this is outrageous my skin is insane i need to do something about it and i'm going to do something about it so first step was i really needed a change and i had the worst breakout of my life and that's what got me motivated to change my ways and whatever i was doing and make sure that my skin gets clear so that was summer 2018 um to my first thing that I did was start Curology because I seen a ton of ads of um, Curology this and Curology works for like your skin. You take a test and um, they send you a skincare for free. That's why I did it also because it was free. They send you, send you, they send you a little tiny tube of like, oh, I don't know if it's like a moisturizer or I guess everybody might get a different thing but I got like a little like formula gel formula hold on I'll go grab it so I got this little it's like all dusty but this was the little bottle that I got it said to take this at night after you like you've washed your face with like whatever face wash that you wash with it said to take this at night so in here it has azaleic acid clindamycin and zinc pyrethroin <laughs> pyrithion and it's just like a cream and it's like oh and, and I, I ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i was using this i actually started to use this um i didn't i didn't start it right after the picture but i did start it like in that summer so i'll put i'll insert like some pictures here of that summer like june july august stuff like that but yeah, Curology uh, didn't really work for me, sis. And maybe it's just because I didn't give it enough time, but I was like, no, we're going to have to transition into something else because this is not it. Like, I wanted something that was fast working and, like, fast acting because, like, 
it was just like really sad the next thing that I used was straight benzoyl peroxide it's like I think it was by the brand like oxen something and I got it from CVS it was over the counter um but yeah, it was 5%, not even, that was the highest doses of benzoyl peroxide you could ever have, is 5%, and that tore my skin up completely. Like, it was horrible, it hurt so, so bad, and I guess benzoyl peroxide is supposed to dry your skin out and then, like, restart it in some type of way. It hurt so bad to have on, and it, honestly, it made my acne and breakouts way worse than they were before. So after that, I finally decided that I wanted to, you know, take it to the big leagues. <laughs> and I went to the doctors. Now, I don't usually, I hate going to the doctors because you have to wait and blah, 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 blah. And they're like never open and never on time that you want to be, have to miss school to get to the doctors. So um, I held off for going to the doctors about my skin for the longest time and I didn't even want to go to the doctors I just wanted to be transferred over to a dermatologist because I thought that was going to be like the one thing They can only help me with the pediatrician cannot help me here Like my mom's like we have to go to the pediatrician the pediatrician cannot help me <laughs> Like he is not going to be able to do it for me, but but to get in my like healthcare, whatever I have, to get to the dermatologist, you have to be referred by the pediatrician or your primary care doctor. So I had to go to the pediatrician and I showed him my face and he was like, oh, your acne's not that bad. But of course, like that guy was annoying anyway. So that's a whole different story. Here I go rambling. What he prescribed to me was the thing that cleared my skin the holy grail my holy grail na, 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 na. it helped me so much this is what cleared my skin what he prescribed to me and i was sitting here doubting him the whole time i'm like he does not know a single thing he has no breakouts a look at my face he doesn't know my face he doesn't know my skin he doesn't even know my name and i was he gonna tell me what's gonna work for my skin and that i don't need to see a dermatologist but he knew what he was doing so i'll give it to him hands down i'll give it to him Right now, I just want to tell you guys, a lot of people go to the doctor and get things for them and it doesn't work for them. That's why I was kind of iffy about making this video because this, the products, half the products that I'm using are not over the counter. They're behind the counter. You have to get it from a doctor sent to a pharma or pharmacy place like CVS or whatever. So that's why I was kind of iffy about filming this video anyways because I didn't know if people were going to take it as it is because like it's not over the counter stuff and it didn't work in like a couple days like this took a while to work i'm gonna show you guys the products that i got prescribed to me this is the gel that was prescribed to me it is erythromycin and benzoyl peroxide topical gel so it does have benzoyl peroxide but it's not straight benzoyl peroxide um yeah, it's just a gel. They mix it free at the pharmacy, and then you have to keep it in the refrigerator. I'm not exactly sure why, but when it's not in the refrigerator, it's literally, like, dried out to the gods. So that's probably why it has to be in the refrigerator. It's, like, real gel. It's real working. It has 3% erythromycin and 5% benzoyl peroxide, which is what I was using. But this is, like... <laughs> I guess this is like this different benzoyl peroxide or something but yeah this here I think was the one thing that just kept like this is what saved my skin the most All, what I also got prescribed is this tretinoin cream hold on let me show you if I can show you guys I can't find the top but this is tretinoin cream and this I don't know if I'm saying that right is 0.025 percent tretinoin cream I'm not really sure what this does, but this benzoyl peroxide and erythromycin gel literally dries your skin out. Like, it has benzoyl peroxide, so that's what it's going to do. But it dries your skin out so much, so this is what they gave me to kind of, like, use as a moisturizer type thing. So, every day, I started this in September. Every single day till September, I was told to use this and this every single night. Do not skip a night or you're gonna, it's like gonna be a restart just like as you're taking birth control. Like, you skip a night, you have to start all over, it doesn't work for you. So that is what my pediatrician told me. He's like, please don't skip a night, don't do that, no, 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 And, um, yeah, this is my ultimate holy grail. I don't think you can go to the pediatrician and be like, I want erythromycin and benzoyl peroxide, topical gel with tretinoin cream thank you <laughs> there, i don't think it's gonna work for you like that that's just like the lowest thing he could have gave me he said if this didn't work for me he would give me a referral to the dermatologist but he felt like this would work and he's given teens other teens this for um you know 
their acne and I know a lot of people a lot of my friends actually have like skincare from doctors and they're not the same one as mine but it's revolved around the same thing which is benzoyl peroxide stuff like that it's not the exact same one but it's of that nature so the doctor might help you out <laughs> just saying I'm gonna say this for my skin to clear up as it is and how it was in the picture that I'm gonna show like right now I want to say like from September, October, November, December, January, February, March. I took this last picture in March. Seven months for my face to clear up. I honestly, I didn't even, I wasn't even tracking my progress or nothing. I'm like, damn, this is not working for me. Whatever. I'm going to still use it though. <laughs> I wasn't tracking my progress, but as I look back now, I'm like looking and I'm like, wow, like this really helped me a lot. Like I'm looking back at my old pictures, I'm like, my face this was me and i was okay like i was okay going out looking like this like i did nothing to my skin before i would be drinking sprite every single day it takes time and people are saying like clear skin one one day like for me at least that didn't work i have dry oily a dry oily combination of skin um yeah so it just it really depends on who you are I do think visiting, if you're really having like a big problem and your face looks on my mind, I'm sorry to say, but try your doctor. That's all I'm going to say about it. And it does take time. Don't expect it to be overnight like I did because I didn't even notice my skin was clear. Like, that's the crazy part. I sat down one day and I was like, wait a second, I think my skin cleared up. And my mom was like, yeah, it did. What the heck? Like, we didn't even notice. It takes time, but yeah, like, it's going to give you real true results if you wait. Nothing good comes easy and... And that's just my thing. Right now, I'm just going to show you guys my everyday skin products type skincare routine type thing. Just to show you guys what I use on a daily basis. And if you want to try these, um, go ahead. Like, I really recommend them. But if it doesn't work out in the way it does for me, I'm sorry. The first thing I use every morning and night, which people are going to hate this. Because some people only use this like once a week or once every other day. I use the Bior Charcoal Face Wash deep pore charcoal cleanser every single morning and night you're gonna some people are gonna rip me apart for that say it dries out your skin but sometimes that's what you need a little skin drying can help you out so <laughs> i use this every morning and night when i wake up and when i'm showering to go to bed and then in the morning time this is what i use i use the clean and clear dual action moisturizer which i've actually been looking for a new moisturizer because this is very 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 thin it's good it's really good but it's thin so if they had like a thicker like formula of this this would be like perfect but it's not perfect <laughs> and then at night i'll wash my face with this again and use these two things these were prescribed to me to use every single night, not in the morning and night, or just in the morning, just at night, which is good for me because it kind of leaves, like, residue on your face. So, I wouldn't want to go out looking like that, but those are the things that I use every single day. There's something that I didn't cover that you wanted to know or you weren't completely sure about because sometimes I'll talk about things and not really explain them well. You can leave them down in the comments. That is the end of this video. Make sure you like comment <laughs> and subscribe wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who's like been subscribing to my channel that's like constantly watching i like don't really get to shout like my viewers out or like subscribers out because like i don't personally know you guys i want to get to know some of my subscribers more i like post it i'm probably gonna post it on like the little community page that i have saying like watch my new video and leave a comment below if you want to shout out on my next video so leave a comment down below if you want a shout out if you have any questions and um if you just have any suggestions for me or things you want to see or don't want to see or you know whatever also thank you for a thousand plus subscribers i don't ever think i said thank you for a thousand subscribers so thank you for a thousand plus subscribers i'm so happy i'm so excited and i love where this channel is going because i started my youtube channel as a hobby and now like people are actually watching me and people actually like care to see what i say um but now i'm rambling thanks for watching bye There's gonna be good.